Person is a boy. Wants to be a girl. This is child abuse. Disgusting wretch of a mother is still alive. Part two, my reaction to Ben Shapiro, Candace Owens, and more. We got a person that a lot of people look up to. Hmm, her, her name, name? is Candace Owens. And this is, what she, this is what she had to say about you and your gender affirming care. My five-year-old came up to me and explained that actually he wants to be a girl. And that was all it took. What, that, what does that signal to you? It wasn't all it took. I didn't just say, I want to be a girl, and poof, we began the transition. No, it was a process. I had to work with medical professionals. I had a therapist who confirmed that I had gender dysphoria, and it was really not an overnight decision. In fact, it wasn't even a decision at all. It was me marching to the beat of my drum, being my authentic self at a young age, knowing who I am, and everyone just embracing me. I was persistent, consistent, and insistent. I showed my mom that this wasn't just a phase, but that I was intent on living my life as a girl, and that was who I was, and she listened to me. She didn't force me to be anything. She didn't abuse me in any way. Instead, she heard me and said, my child is hurting. My child is not able to be their true authentic self. How could I help her? And she, all she did was embrace me. She didn't encourage me, she didn't force me, but she embraced me and followed my lead. I'm very blessed that I was able to avoid male puberty. I'm very blessed that I was able to develop as a woman. I've always wanted boobies and I got my boobies. So ah! <laughs> I'm happy with my body. I am proud to be me. And I just, you know, me saying that right here, right now should be enough enough to dispel all of the misconceptions, enough to dispel all of the hatred. I am me, and I just want to be embraced for who I am. This is that other woman. We showed you the first part, and so now you could dive into what you were going to say before about the prophet, because I'm going to show you two clips. Okay. So first, the woman said, she said, You shouldn't be playing Frankenstein with 11-year-olds. And then... She said this. You deserve to be in prison if you ask me this is child abuse. And that is doubly the case if you look at someone like Jazz's parents who essentially have monetized their child's transition. So she says the parents monetized their child's transition. And then in that same video, one minute later, this is what you see. A disappointing story. But first, I do want to say thank you to today's sponsor. <laughs> what do you think about that? Uh, hypocrite, hello. Jazz's parents are monetizing. First of all, we've never been in it for the fame or the money. We do it for the impact, to help other people and to make a difference. But to see you saying, oh, my sponsor, like, girl, that's so hypocritical. That's a little messy. Like, let's get real. So it really detracts from everything that you're saying. It's not just that one. That's a one example with all the I other- I want to say one more thing. The child abuse comment, you know, I think we were talking about this a little bit, but- my parents are not the abusers. People like her are the abusers to attack our community, to say such negative things, to be so hurtful. I mean, these are kids we're talking about. We should be embracing our youth, not attacking them. Here's one more clip from that this. That was good. <laughs> Here's one more clip from this dude. Or did they push Jazz to openly identify in that direction because Jazz was a small child? A very, very small child. All of this is incredibly disturbing. Thinking about disturbing things, you know, here, here's a disturbing one for you. You're going to die. Head on over to policygenius.com slash Shapiro and get started with the pro. Jazz, what do you think about Mr. Ben Shapiro, famous Ben Shapiro, talking about your story and then right in the middle of it, advertise life insurance and monetize off your experience and then say your parents are abusers. People like him are the problem, not trans people. To promote life insurance after saying that you know, my parents were abusers and that I was a young child and I didn't know what I was talking about. We don't know what we're doing, blah, blah, blah. It's not like you really care about my life or the lives of the LGBTQIA plus community. So why are you promoting life insurance in the middle of a video talking about us? Like, boy, for bye. real now, boy, bye. My parents have never abused me in any way whatsoever. And I'm here saying that now. I love my parents. I love them so much. Some kids have been thrown out on the street. Yes. Isn't that abuse? Yes. Some people get beat for being uh, 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 trans and threatened by death. Yeah. Isn't that more abuse? I have a beautiful black trans woman with me right now. She a diamond. Come in, girl. Okay, first of all, I am so proud of your journey. I've watched your journey, and I kind of envied you. Like, I've been, you know, trans for a, for a very long time. Yeah. But I didn't get a chance to experience what you experienced. I told my parents the same thing at the same age. Mm. They didn't listen. I actually got beat. 
So I did. I was walking like a girl beat, talking like a girl beat, using the restroom like a girl beat. And so it's just, it's not because my mother didn't love me. She just didn't know how to love me at the time. Yeah. And so it took so many years mm -hmm. in order for us to get to a place to where we're in a healthy relationship that she yeah. sees me. Is your relationship so, good now? It is. Good. And it's so important for our parents to see us. It's so important for our friends to see us. Yeah. It's so in, 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 important for our family to see us, our doctors to see us, yeah. and the ones that love us. To see us and to actually see us, not for who they think we should be, but for who we say we are. Because trans people are who they say they are. Just to watch you and to watch you grow into a beautiful woman yeah. and to be successful because it, it changed my life in a way I didn't want to go to school. I didn't want to do anything because I didn't feel like I was presenting myself as who I was. The world didn't see me. Your mother saw you. Yes. Your doctor saw you. Yes. Now, it took me to go into the foster home and everything and to run away in order to start living my truth. So, around 14 years old, I was able to start my uh, transition. Um, and it changed my life. Yes. And I feel like you and I are the scary trans people they don't want us to see. Yeah. They think they can tell our stories, but the only people that can tell our stories are us. I'm so proud of your parents. And parents that are like your parents, yes. this is what we fight for. This is, as activists, this is what we fight for. I got panties older than you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel so lucky. Every single day, I'm so blessed. I have my brother, who's an amazing ally, my other siblings, my parents, everyone just loving and supporting me. And everyone deserves that, you know? Everyone deserves to be loved unconditionally. So. They do. And that's what we're fighting for. Exactly. So... A world of freedom, a world where everyone can just be who they are. Of love. Mm -hmm. It's all about <laughs> love, right? I love you so much. I love you Thank too. you so much for sharing your heart. This all right, another clip. And um, <laughs> and I am Jazz. This person was born in 2000. This person is a boy, uh, and uh, and was transitioned by his parents when he was a very very young kid. <laughs> Uh, it's almost like comedic at this point. I've been watching these videos over and over again, and it's just not for these people to define me and tell me who I am. I define myself. I know who I am, and just shut up and let me be. Let our community be. Let us thrive, you know? Why do you have to bring us down? Why do you care so much? It's just so annoying and so stupid. They don't know my life and my personal business, and I'm here saying right now that... I have no regrets when it comes to my transition. I am proud to be me. So for people to jump to that conclusion that I regret my transition, it's just not true. And me saying that right here, right now should be enough. So give up already. Give up on trying to tear our community down because you never will. We are going to exist forever. We're always going to be here and you cannot stop us. Thank you everyone for tuning in and listening. I hope this is able to open some hearts and minds. There are so many anti-trans bills being introduced and it's devastating for our community, but we are here, we are strong. We are going to fight back. We are going to promote love and acceptance. And at the end of the day, I feel positive and grateful to be myself. So to hear people say that I don't like myself or that you know, I've been abused. It's just, it's awful to hear that because I really am in a good place. I'm at school. I have great friends. I'm thriving. I'm doing what I love. I'm an art major and I'm just living my life. So let me be me. Let all of us be ourselves. And that's the only message I have to say. Thank you, Sander. Thank you, Shia, for being here. I love you both and love to everyone. Bye, mermaids. Bye, mermaids. Cool. That's a wrap. Yeah. Yay. Yay.